good morning and welcome to my first Stamping Up video. This is actually a really simple card using patterned tissues. We actually got at convention last year these packs of really pretty little printed tissues but there was no way I was actually going to use them for blowing my nose. And hoarding things and keeping things in the room just because you can um, eventually you reach the point when it's just crazy and you just need to use something. So I actually use them to make this card. It's a very quick and simple card. We take the tissue, separate out the layers. This also works really, really well with patterned serviettes, the kitchen serviettes, especially at Christmas time. You can get some very, very beautiful um, serviettes but you just want the top thin layer, just the single layer. Around the edge it gets a little bit sort of daggy, um, so we'll, we'll end up cutting this bit off. But to provide the rigidity we need for the card, we actually need to stick the tissue onto um, just a piece. Of, I've got a piece of Whisper White here, and that's 14.3 by 10 centimetres, and I'm just using the lovely quick Anywhere glue stick to put the glue on and then we just get the tissue hopefully it won't have too many wrinkles in it and smooth that down maybe the wrinkles will just add some character to it okay turn it over get your scissors go close to the edge and just cut a border And as you can see with this, you would actually end up with one tissue giving you enough background paper for between two and four cards. So it really is a really cool way to do backgrounds. And this was awesome because these coloured tissues exactly match the Stamping Up cardstock. So these are um, Calypso Coral, Pear Pizzazz and Whisper White tissues. So there we go, there's our background paper. We have a base cardstock of Pear Pizzazz. Just get some snow wherever I put it. I can do this without my hand shaking too much. Okay. Oops. That little bit will just show people it's handmade because it's not entirely perfect. Now, to make the decorative layer on top, I used some So Saffron ink with the Petal Parade stamp. Now, these stamps are from Celebration this year, and they only have a couple more days to run, so if this is a stamp set that you would like to get, you've literally got only a few more days to get it in because it finishes on the 31st of March. And then, no more. So, just randomly stamping the background. Oh, it doesn't matter, I'm going to stamp over that bit. I had to greet it over that bit. There we go. This saffron layer goes onto another piece. The saffron was 7 by 10 centimetres and this piece of pear pizzazz is 7.5 by 10.5 centimetres just to give it that little bit of border. And that sticks. Where's my original card? Yep, I put it over to one side. It's just having a mental moment there. that to one side. The sentiment I stamped onto a piece of Whisper White which is 2.2 centimetres um, in width this way and it doesn't really matter how long it is because we're going to trim it to fit 
Um, the sentiment comes from the stamp set Loving Thoughts. It's a really, really nice stamp set. It's got some really inspirational words and they suit all occasions. Not too crooked. Excellent. I could use a stamp positioner, but sometimes I just eyeball it. So to get the flagged end, this is, I could put it through the new banner framelits, but for ease, I just cut straight up the centre and then do point to point. To get the um, Calypso Coral, to give it a nice border, bring it back a little bit from this end and stick it down. The Calypso Coral piece is two and a half centimetres wide, so just do that. into my scissors and then just follow the flagged fishtail in from um I might just do that a little tiny bit closer from the other one. Now this will be covered up by some flowers so I'm just going to do that, cut it off at the end, making a lovely mess, which is pretty much normal for me when I'm crafting. put that across. Tissue goes everywhere. Now, the flower, you can see it's not a normal, it doesn't look like a normal flat flower. This cardstock almost looks like it's a flocked or a mulberry paper type of one. All I've done is punch out two flowers from the blossom punch. I think it's the blossom punch. We have so many pretty flower stamps, uh, punches, I um, sometimes forget. So I've punched out them and then you just take your stress out on them. Some people will spritz these with water first. I don't worry because these are just going to be quite flat. I don't need them to hold their shape. So you're basically just taking all your stress out on them. So if you've had a bad week, this is a really, really good card to make. Now you just keep squishing it until, and unsquishing it, until it starts to do this. You can see here this cardstock, if I can get my nail through there, is made of layers. So this starts to separate. And one of the beautiful things about the stamping up cardstock, because it is dyed all the way through, you will have the true colour of Calypso Coral all the way through. But this just gives it a little bit of a different texture without having to emboss it or do anything like that. Oops. Uncurl it first, it will probably tear better. Alright. So you can see it's got like a very fairy sort of texture. Pop a little, little bit of adhesive. Pop it here. Squish, squish, squish. A little bit of adhesive. Oops. I offset mine a little bit. And you can do two or you can do three layers. Oops, I've covered that up a little bit. Oh, well, I'll just pretend I didn't do that. Now I've got one of the silver buttons um, from. You can use any silver button. This, uh, these are the silver basics designer buttons. I think these were the last catalogue, so I'm being a little bit naughty, but this catalogue we've got a different lot of silver buttons. Now, you can either stick this on with glue dots and then just tie a bow in the baker's twine and glue dot it on the top, or what I did was actually tie the baker's twine through the button. Um, maybe I'm just... Maybe it's because I used to sew a lot. I don't know really why I do that. I just do. But you can stick the button on however you choose. Because it is metal, I would be gluing it onto the flower card with the glue dots because they are the strongest way to make sure that it is held on. I'm pretty sure you can just see I'm just tying a little bow. Pull 
pull the ends down a little bit. Oops, my loop went up the wrong way. Now, big thing with the glue dots, leave them on the roll. Just take the button, stick it on, the glue dot comes off onto here, and then you just pop it on like that. Cut the ends shorter, and that's your card made. So thank you for watching. If you've got feedback, let me know if you have made any cards using tissues or the pattern napkins. I'd really love to see them. I love seeing what people do with different things. Otherwise, have a lovely day, and I will hopefully make another video again soon.